I was messed up after that night in the movie theater. I needed someone to talk to, and nobody knows you like Charlotte. So you went to talk to my sister about me and slept with her. When you lay it out like that, it sounds sketchy. You cheat and know what you think? I'm not proud of what I did. I strayed from my path, but I deserve a little credit for trying to do the right thing now. Do you love her? I offered to marry her. You didn't answer the question. I love you. Oh, no, no don't do it. Everything this. I said in that movie theater was true. We can make it work between us. I know we can. Stop! I'm sorry. I know my timing is really bad. But I just feel like this could be my last chance to tell you how I feel. I've never stopped loving you, and I never will. You ready, Michael? All right. Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, one, two. You going somewhere, Dad? Oh, I've got some work to do back at the office. It's nearly midnight. It's just this new project. It is keeping me busy. Don't push yourself too hard, huh? Yeah. I'm close to something big, Michael. A breakthrough that'll change everything. Change lives. But the answer is just out of my reach. Well, you get there, Dad. I know you will. You've never failed before, and you won't fail this time. Dad, nobody will tell me what is going on. I hurt some people, Michael. I was trying to help them. I wanted to fix them. They were in wheelchairs like you. I know I should have told you sooner. Maybe if I had, it never would have come to this. I did it for you, Michael. When it was perfected, I was going to give it to you. Is that how you see me? Is something that you need to fix? Oh, no. No. Of course not. I just wanted you to be happy. I was happy. I went to bed at night knowing I had a father who loved me. Michael? Oh, Jack. I was just talking to a friend of mine. Want some? It's straight tequila. <laughs> no, none for me, thanks. Don't let me stop you. Drink up. Come on, Boots. I know this is all an act. No, it's not. It's the new me. Okay. What gave me away? There's a reason why you're always cast as a tree in the Sunday School Theater productions. You're not a good actor. You always told me I was great. I liked you. Even way back then. Do you know how much bending is involved while playing a weeping willow? I can imagine. <laughs> 